I want to give a special shout out to all my patrons, my Biblio Spran, Biblio Howlers, and Biblio Mansers. Thank you so much for supporting my hobby and passion even more. It means so much to me. Hi everyone, Patek here. Today's video will be a book review for The Jade Setter of Jan Loon by Fondali. I know that it has been quite a while since I did a book review on this channel, but you know what? I thought I might as well make this my first novella review on this channel. And this will be a book review for The Jet Setter of Jan Loon by Fonda Lee. I think The Jet Setter of Jan Loon is an exhilarating and heartfelt appetizer or dessert to the Green Bone Saga, depending on when you start reading this novella. It is not a secret knowledge that I am a die-hard fan of the Green Bone Saga by Fonda Lee. Old Jet City, Jet War, and Jet Legacy, all of them are in my list of favorite books of all time. Jet Legacy was my favorite book of 2021, and I consider the Green Bone Saga as the best completed fantasy trilogy that I have ever read. And honestly, I don't think this prestigious achievement will be replaced anytime soon. My love for the Green Bone Saga actually made me buy a t-shirt of the series, which I'm wearing right now. Yeah, <laughs> and also it made me buy a subterranean press limited edition of the Jade Setter of Jan Lun. Buying a novella this expensive was unprecedented to me. I mean, it cost me about, I think, $72 in total for me to get this book in its physical format. But I couldn't resist, other than the fact that this is another entry in the Green Bone Saga series, but I totally believe that the cover art done by Charis Look is absolutely stunning and beautiful. I think this is the kind of cover art that the Green Bone Saga deserves, and I'm happy that Fondali and the Green Bone Saga finally get this kind of cover art. And of course, I simply couldn't pass the chance to get a physical copy of it, even if it's super expensive. But enough about this introduction, all of this is just to say that I am biased about this series, about this world, about the characters inside this series. And as predicted and expected, The Jet Setter of Jan Loon is another incredible reading experience for me. Even if it made me crave for more by the end of it. You're asking me to bring you into the business, but do you want to be brought in? You have all the skills to follow in my footsteps if you choose. But a jet setter's life is dedicated to uncelebrated work that might be undone. Every day we give ourselves to the craft of setting jade that will give power to others. They do with it what they will, and we keep none of it for ourselves. That's our place. Do you want that? The Jet Setter of Jan Loon is a standalone prequel novella in the Green Bone Saga series. For those new to this world and series, the novella takes place in the rapidly changing city of Jan Loon, a city ruled by jade. Jade is the rare and ancient substance that enhanced the abilities and status of the trained Greenborn warriors who run the island's powerful clans. The main character of this novella, Pulo Oritono, is not one of those warriors. He is simply an apprentice jade setter under the tutelage of Isin with dreams of securing clan patronage and establishing a successful business. His hopes of achieving this, however, are dashed when a priceless jade weapon, a moonblade, is stolen from the shop where he works. Now, Pulo has three days to hunt down the thief, retrieve the Moonblade, and return it to its rightful owner. In 140 pages long, Lee managed to tell a compelling and satisfying story filled with great characters and compelling narrative. Revolving around the themes of justice, vendettas, corruption, honor, and power, I finished reading The Jet Setter of Jan Loon in one sitting. This isn't to say that this novella is actually superior compared to the main novels. Its shorter format already put the novella in a disadvantageous position compared to the main novels. However, as a novella, I think this is terrific. As I said, by the end of The Jet Setter of Jan Loon, I wanted to read more stories in the Green Bone Saga. <laughs> Before I even started reading this novella, I knew I would end up demanding more stories in the Green Bone Saga. Do not get me wrong. The main trilogy has been concluded extremely satisfyingly. But I am not saying no to any standalone or spin-off in the Green Bone Saga series, and that's what I'm getting here in the Jet Setter of Jan Loon. More stories, standalone or spin-off in the Green Bone Saga means I will have more characters to read and care for. And with Lee's magnificent capability in crafting fully well-realized characters, it is practically confirmed that I will feel invested in the characters again. And yes, I did get what I wanted from Pulo or Tono's story. I found Pulo to be an endearing and passionate character. He or Isin's dedication to their craft was admirable to me, and Lee superbly polished their characterizations within a relatively short amount of time. Personally speaking, I think one of the most refreshing things about reading this novella is readers, especially us who have read the main series, get to experience more of the conflicts and events in Jan Loon from the perspective of normal 
or weaker citizens in the city of Jianlun. In the main trilogy, we've seen the brutal and deadly confrontations between the two of the strongest and biggest clan of Jianlun, which is the Nopi clan and the Mountain clan, and also eventually more in the trilogy directly from their perspectives. But Pulo or Isin doesn't belong in any of the big clans. They have always been neutral and having Pulo as the main character really put things into perspective once again on just how terrifying the Nopi clan and the Mountain clan are. I really loved it. Not saying that we didn't get any of that in the main trilogy, we did, but having an entire novella dedicated to someone being put in this position and reading it from their perspective entirely definitely added depth to the world and the effect of the catastrophic rivalry between the two big clans for me. He picked up the Moonblade. It was heavy in his hands, a priceless one-of-a-kind object, a warrior's treasure. He wanted to melt it down into slack. He wanted to throw it into the sea. It was worthless, just steel and wood and jade. It wasn't alive, it didn't love or feel, it didn't hurt or mourn or suffer from guilt or the pain of failure, and yet it was coveted and considered more valuable than some lives. One more thing before I end this review. I need to elaborate upon the opening of this review. I started reading the Jet Setter of Jan Lun equipped with the knowledge and investment I attained from reading the main trilogy, and this undoubtedly enhanced my feelings and experience of this novella. However, if you have not started any of the books in the Greenbone Saga, I do objectively think this would work well as an appetizer to the series. But speaking from my own experience, one of the main highlights of the novel is seeing some of my favorite characters from the main trilogy appearing again here. I miss them. Seriously, I do. From looking at the cover art, those who have read the Greenbone Saga trilogy will know who appeared in this novella. Yeah, you guessed correctly. Lan, Hilo, Aitmada, Gon Ash, and a few more characters appeared in the Jet Setter of Jan Lun, and I can't emphasize how much their appearance made my heart and soul happy. We, the Greenbone Saga fans, and this is not a blanket statement, but our love for the characters runs deep. Like, really deep. I mean it. It is likely only those who have read and fallen in love with the series will know the immense depth of our love for the characters and the world that Von Dali has crafted. This is why getting to see these beloved characters again, even if only briefly, means a lot to me. My recommendation, if possible, try to read The Jet Setter of Jan Dun after you have read the main trilogy first. So that's Jade City, Jade War, and Jade Legacy. But if that's not possible and you want to treat this novella as the appetizer before you dine on the main course of Von Dali's talent, I think this will work amazingly well. At the very least, I believe this will give you a captivating reading experience. I cannot fully gauge this, but I think I would have given this book, this novella, a 4 stars rating if I haven't read the main trilogy first. But because I have before reading this novella, I'm giving The Jet Setter of Jan Lun a 5 out of 5 stars rating. As a novella, it is an absolutely compelling story from an exceptional author. I have been treating The Jet Setter of Jan Lun like a dessert that I don't want to eat because I know that it will be delicious, but you know, that's it. I will be done. And now that I'm done with this novella, I am both satisfied and sad about it. <laughs> but if I'm not mistaken, there will be another novella in the Greenbone Saga series, or to be more precise, a collection of short story, and the title will be Jade Shards. I think this collection of short story will once again be published by Subterranean Press, and after that, I think we will be done with the Greenbone Saga for quite a while. But until that day, this will have to do, and I want to say thank you so much once again to Fondali for crafting another story in the Greenbone Saga for me and all of us to read. The Jet Setter of Jan Dun is definitely one of the best novella that I've read, but do put in mind that my experience is based on after reading the main trilogy first. But I think it is very likely that you will have a different reading experience if you read this without reading the main trilogy first. But at the end of the day, whether you want to treat this as an appetizer or a dessert before or after you read the Greenbone Saga, I think both options will work really well. I highly recommend this novella and do let me know whether you have read the Greenbone Saga series or not and also do tell me whether you are a fan of the Greenbone Saga series or not. As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. Bye bye. Lastly, I want to say thank you so much once again to all my patrons who keep on supporting me. 